In the manufacturing industry, we've been talking about Industry 4.0 for many years now. Here at the Kuka booth at Hanover Mesa 2017, we have an entirely functioning smart factory behind us. We want to give you a little walkthrough from a high level of how this factory works. I'm here with Dominic Buzzle, my friend Dominic Buzzle with Kuka also. Dominic, could you give our audience a little overview of what a smart factory is and how it relates to Industry 4.0? Sure, Nick. Um, the advantage of a smart factory actually is that everything is interconnected and by that interconnection it, you have full transparency. You see where every part is, you get traceability, you can manage everything, you can apply machine learning, you can do predictive maintenance, preemptive and all those things and this is what we also show here. Cool, so uh, I understand we're doing some interesting giveaways, could you tell us about that? Exactly. So uh, we wanted to make that as graspable as possible. So we wanted that everybody can take something with them that they really want. So we decided to do a highly individualized mass product, a customized puzzle. So you can upload your picture and have your puzzle printed. And it is exactly, it's not my puzzle. It's really everybody's puzzle that you want. The idea is that you have high volume production, but it's also customizable. Uh, after the customer inputs their data, so the first station here, how does the factory then handle that data? So that's really the most important thing, right? The data management exactly, in the factory exactly. like this? Well, it generates a digital twin. So uh, your product becomes a, virtual, uh, has, becomes a virtual identity, so to say. So this puzzle exists in VR. Um, an interesting side note, uh, by the way, is if you upload your own picture, we wanted to make sure that nothing inappropriate gets printed. So uh, we're using a Microsoft Azure cloud learning service from the Cognitive ser uh, Services Framework. And what it does, it does picture classification. I think it worked quite well for it you. Did, yeah. yeah, I mean, like with this one, it would recognize a, a, the London city or whatever it is. For, for mine, I put in a picture of a snow-covered mountain and out came snow-covered mountain. So it's pretty good technology, yeah, cool. actually. From there on, it goes into uh, the Swiss Lock Sync system. And the Swiss Lock Sync is doing the, uh, the, the, the whole control and the whole data management. And uh, as soon as the data is up in the cloud, then we can start printing. This is what happens okay. over here. So uh, to get that uh, raw material to the printer, actually the Swiss log carry pick takes that, moves raw material in batches of four at a time, and then it puts it into the printing system. The printer goes ahead and prints it. This is a system set up uh, by Kuka Robotics with some partners. And then after it prints four of those, that takes that data and turns it into a physical thing. Because exactly. then that's exactly. when the QR code gets printed on that puzzle, right? Exactly. Then, then the, 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 the white carton becomes a puzzle. Yeah. And after that point in time, that QR code is kind of driving the process to make sure the customer can track their own personal puzzle as it moves to the smart factory behind us. So from there, after that puzzle gets printed, it goes to the laser cutting station. Exactly. Which is where some more customization can happen, correct? Yeah, because you can actually choose your, your puzzle pieces. We have traditional puzzle pieces, we have Tangram style, we have a KUKA logo, we have a memory, what, what You don't not, even have you know, to get it cut if you don't want You just get a exactly, solid exactly. puzzle. And oh, sometimes we get questions why the robot is so big. Well, the reason for that is that this is a standard laser robot that we use in automotive industry because we really wanted to show with those work sales that those are real world applications. So it's a laser cutting robot. The laser actually is pretty cool. It runs up through the middle of the arm and down straight out that tip so it can cut it in a nice compact way. Even though it's a big robot, it's a pretty compact setup. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, okay, so then after the cutting, it goes into the gluing station where the, the now cut puzzle gets glued into this nice frame. So uh, I guess one of the key things there is how it's matching up this QR code with that QR code. Now. Exactly, because uh, it, uh, it holds up the, the envelope and then the camera is taking that, that other QR code and adding that to the digital twin of the puzzle. And then those two become one product. And uh, from there on, it goes into delivery over here. And um, wait, it, you might wonder why that shelf or how they actually manage to get them out of that yeah, shelf. Yeah, I, I do actually, because there's no numbers on these lockers actually. That's, uh, I was wondering, so if they're printing 500 of these things, how do you know when you come to pick up the, the puzzle as a customer, how do you know which one's yours? Well, you get your, your personal paper slip and you scan it over here and what it does is, you know, those aren't, aren't magicians or our, our Industry 4.0 elves, no, but uh, what the robot actually does is it gives the, the puzzle a nudge and it comes out at the front and so they know which one to pick and which one is yours. And then you get a notification, email, whatever it might be, that your puzzle is done, you can come pick it up. You come over here, you scan that. There's also a QR code that you can show on your phone screen as well. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. But as a customer then, you're able to track that. You're able to see the result. You come here, you pick it up, uh, and then uh, one of our nice friendly staff delivers it to you. However, a nice thing about this too is you input your address at the beginning if you want it mailed to you. We'll do that too, another way to manage the data. Yeah, exactly. So 
Again, really cool giveaway here in the Kuka booth. However, it's not just about the fun giveaway. This is really the foundation of an actual smart factory that if you abstract the concept out, you can imagine in an automotive factory, in a machine tending situation, whatever it might be, it's really about managing the data to make that data give you visibility into your process, be able to customize high volume things. So Dominic, thank you so much for Thanks, your, uh, your walkthrough here. And you guys will be making a bunch of separate movies about each of these input stations with more details, so be sure to check those out as well. Thanks a lot, we'll see you later. Orange Intelligence.